Now, stay standing for a moment. Now, I want us to give a shout for two people that are just awesome, Peter and Tricia Roselli. And let's thank God for King of Kings. Amen. Amen. Now bless somebody next to you and you may be seated. What a blessing to be here. You know, I, I'm not crazy about being introduced any longer because I'm not sure what my bio is. It's changing greatly. <laughs> Tell somebody you're changing. You better wait till the Lord rewrites it. But I have been around the mountain and I am qualified to minister this morning. I will say that to you. I've been around the mountain several times, but I've been up the mountain more than I've been around it. So that's the way to think about it. And I thank God for John and Cheryl Price. What a blessing. John is swimming down south somewhere with the storm that came through. John, you and Mary, it's so good to see you. What a blessing. What a blessing you are. And there's something new happening on this road right here. So if the Spirit hits me, I'll prophesy. It's really awesome. John, that was a great word you gave earlier. Uh, this is uh, such a key time, but it's a special time for me, and I believe it's God's timing. It's been 30 years since I first ministered in New Jersey this week. It's just a long time. I used to go downtown Newark and minister. Yeah, that was a wild place down there, wasn't it? We loved it. And it was, uh, it's been 30 years. It's, and so with that, I thought about this gathering. Because, you know, it was at 30 years that all of a sudden, uh, Father told the Son, it's time for your identity to be seen. That's really what happened. It wasn't that the son wasn't uh, Jesus the whole time. It was just he had not been revealed with his identity of who he really was until he was 30 years old. And I really believe that's a word for this area up here. Your identity is about to be revealed. And... We were looking at the Commonwealth. So I, I mentioned Pennsylvania. Of course, Pennsylvania thinks they are probably, they probably were our first Commonwealth. But we also have Virginia, we have Massachusetts, and we have Kentucky. And when I was given that gold key from England by the Commonwealth, I really feel like something is going to happen so mightily this year in the revealing of the Lord up in this part of the United States. My wife told me uh, three weeks ago, you know, because Pam works all the time, and, you know, and she's got all those grandkids of hers. And, <laughs> and all those kids of mine. <laughs> I take responsibility for those kids that, have had to really find the Lord, but they found the Lord. Let's thank God for that. Your kids can find the Lord themselves. Yeah, I'm telling you. Just amazing how I've watched that happen over these last three years. And uh, But she said, uh, have you thought about us going back and starting in Maine and going back through all the colonies? And I said, well, honey, I've been doing that for the last 40 years. Where have you been? She said, at home with your kids. 
But she mentioned uh, how important she felt New England was this season and uh, that it is such an important focus for it. Uh, and so I, I'm, I'm really looking forward with what the Lord's going to do. And there's a word that the Lord has been, it, that is stirring in me uh, during the night. I, I, it was such a blessing to be able to rest because uh, head of the year had a lot going on in it and then a lot going on afterwards. And I, I was able, I feel a word stirring, so I'm hoping it stirs while we're here to loose it this morning for you. But I also feel like I have a message for you that is very important. I'm going to speak from two passages. One is going to be Deuteronomy 8, and another one is going to be Ezekiel uh, 40, uh, 43. Uh, because I, I sense the Lord is saying both of these passages to us. Um, and when I get there, you'll be able to track with me. But one thing I want to say, Aaron, if you'll help me, let's move forward. The new is now. Tell somebody. But here's the real question. Are you ready to step forward? Because it's, it's not always uh, steady when we first step into the new. Uh, we have to evaluate every step we take. But there comes a moment when the new happens. I'll go back to uh, Yeshua and how at 30 the father said, okay, let's reveal who you are. Because he couldn't do anything unless father told him to do it. And the father said, you go out where John's baptizing and I want you to get baptized. And when you obey me, I will open up the heavens in a new way, and then I'll send you in to the identity that I have planned for your future. See, that's what happens at the new. All of a sudden, that thing God's been working on in you, he's ready to send you out into it. Look at somebody and say, get ready. He's telling us we're going to be sent out again. And remember, the heavens opened up, uh, Holy Spirit descended, uh, John recognized who uh, Yeshua was, and uh, all of a sudden, a new wineskin began. We shifted from John's wineskin to Yeshua's wineskin, and... That was a huge transition because one was built on repentance and the other was built on fire and manifestation. And uh, then, but the Lord said, I've got to qualify you for this new thing. Here, this is where it gets a little sticky for us. I've got to qualify you for this new thing, so I'm going to have the Spirit take you into the wilderness. And you're going to face off what I sent you for, for 40 days. And you're going to face off everything that I sent you down there that hell thinks it's going to rule for all the generations ahead. You're going to face off Trisha Roselli's problems. You're going to face off Dennis's uh, uh, temptations. You're going to face that off for 40 days. And when you come out, you're going to be able to look at your enemy and say, you ain't got nothing over us any longer. See, that's the type of year we're headed into. It's not like exactly what we think. It's a year of triumph and victory like we've never had before. 
but it's also a year of going and facing. See, this whole decade is about coming face to face. This whole era that we began in September of 2019 is about coming face to face, and the decade is about the big face-off. 